Hello everyone and welcome to Sandra's Crafting Corner. If you would, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. Also like, comment, and share. This video is a part of the Foodie DIY Challenge hosted by Nadia from DIY Nadia and Sandra from The Schwoven's Nest. I will have links to both of their channels as well as the playlist in my description box below. The food of the month for this month is watermelon. Now let's get crafting. For this sign, the items you'll need are, you'll need a scrap piece of wood. Mine measured 15 inches long by 12 inches wide. These paint pens are optional, but will help you out a lot. Santa Red, Chocolate Sprinkle, and I had to make my own green, so I used bright yellow and two blue. 10 gauge copper wire that was coated in black. Some twine. These various tools. And some ribbon of your choice. The first thing I did was take some water and chocolate sprinkle and mix it up to make a stain. Then I coated the front and the sides of the board. Next I took this America sign from Dollar Tree and used it as a template. mimic the scallops only slightly smaller on the inside. Next I took the Santa red color and painted the inside of the watermelon. If I had to do it over again I would have painted it white first that way the red would pop. I ended up doing three coats. Next, I took white and I coated the outside area that was supposed to be the rind. I ended up doing three coats of this as well. Now it's time for the darker green. 
I'm going to paint the very outside of the white area, leaving a small little white area in the middle. Yep, you guessed it, three coats for this one as well. Now I take this light green that I made from taking the green and adding a little white to make little stripes to match the rind of a watermelon. Next, I mix a little bit of green with the stain that I made earlier with the chocolate sprinkle to add a little shadow. I just put it under the white line and then wiped it off with a baby wipe. Now on to the lettering. I found the center and decided I wanted to use the word welcome. So I put the C in the center and then did the O-M-E and then did L-E-W. I didn't want the font to be really strict so I made it really whimsical instead. I still obsessed about the E's because I wanted them to match. After I finally stopped obsessing, I took this black paint pen in medium and went around the letters. I put little dots on the letters to add a little whimsical touch. Next I drew on the seeds. After that was dry, I took this white paint pen in medium and drew on some little highlights. My one-year-old granddaughter decided that she was wanting to help me with my craft project. So I try to outline the outside of the watermelon with my black paint pen. My daughter relieved me so I could finish the rest of my project.
I decided it was still missing something, so I took that white paint pen and went around and made little squiggles and dots. Next, I'm going to take this black copper wire that is coated in black and make a little hanger for it. I thread the wire through the back of the sign, that way I can make these cute little curly cues in the front. After I wrestled this wire for a bit, I realized that my camera stopped recording. All I did was make a bow. I'm going to show you how I made it. I just took a loop like that, doubled it up, made one bigger than the other, and that was it. Now I'm going to make the tails. You just measure your ribbon by folding it in half and then cutting it off and then tying it to the back of the bow. make the center knot, all I did was take a little piece of the ribbon and tri-fold it. Shown here. Then you just dovetail the ends by folding them in half and cutting it on a diagonal. To make the center knot, all you do is tri-fold the ribbon, wrap it around your bow, and then hot glue it onto the back. Do a little fluffing and trimming, and then your bow is done. It's here that I realized that the center knot would be better if it was wrapped around the wire first and then hot glued onto the back. So that's just what I did. Make sure the bow is centered, hot glued it in place, and now my project is done. Now on to DIY number two. The items you'll need for this project are another scrap piece of wood. Mine measured 36 inches long by 11 and a half inches wide. Any brand of cream colored paint same paints from project number one minus the chocolate sprinkle the same various tools as before minus the pliers the first thing I'm gonna do after I sanded this board is paint it this cream color on the sides and the front I gave it only one coat I love the fact that the wood peeked through the next part skips ahead a little bit I lost that footage or it just wasn't recording I'm sorry I didn't capture that I printed my letters on my computer and then copied them with the pencil on the back and tracing method. All I'm doing here is outlining all of the lettering using a black paint pen with a fine nib.
To make the U or watermelon, I use this lid to trace a half circle. Then I angle in this circle just a little bit and then make little teeth marks with little round circles. Shown here. Now I'm just going to outline it with my black paint pen. Now I'm taking the pencil and outlining the rind. Now I just take the green that I made in the previous project and started outlining the rind. I hope you can see the pencil outline a little better here. Finish painting the rind and give it three coats. Next take the Santa Red and color in the red part. Go ahead and give that three coats as well. The sign was still missing something, so I made some stripes. I measured four centimeters in and three centimeters in and drew a line. Using painter's tape helped. I did the same thing to the other side. Next I take this paint pen and outline the lines. Again, I did the same thing on the other side. Now I'm taking the light green and making the same little stripes on the rind that I did in my first project. Sorry about the difference in sound, but I had to hide away from my noisy family. I'm in my car in the garage. I'm going to take this Santa Red and paint the bigger stripe on both sides. We'll need to give the stripes three coats. Since there was very little of this light green, I decided to make the small stripe the light green. And you guessed it, three coats. And DIY number two is finished. On to DIY number three. The items you'll need are a mason-like jar from the Dollar Tree, this Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover in Satin Apple Red, 
these paint pens or just paint and this green yarn or some green twine. After spray painting the mason jar, making sure to keep the mouthpiece completely clean of any kind of paint, I take this green yarn and I go around the bottom, gluing the whole way around. After the first row, you don't need to glue anymore until you get to the end. I wrap the yarn about a third of the way up. Next, I'll take the black paint pen and go around and draw seeds. And that's it for this simple DIY. And here are all three projects together. I think they are simply adorable. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Before you leave, please consider subscribing to my channel or just give me a like or even comment below. And don't forget to check out Nadia's and Sandra's channel as well as the playlist for the foodie challenge. I'll have all of that listed in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching my videos. You're awesome.